How you doing, YouTube? This is your boy, Brogan Ark, back again with another episode of Brogan Ark on Films, currently in the center of the eye of a hurricane <laughs> on Halloween in this impromptu Terminator costume. Here with my boy, Cam, and we're giving our non-spoiler reviews of Terminator Dark Fate, which was directed by Tim Miller. If you don't want spoilers, check out the non-spoiler review on IGTV. Link is in the description. But before we get into it, we're going to give our grades on Terminator Dark Fate. Well, I, I, I'm going to say five and a half. I can't quite go five four or six, but, but five and a half. My grade would be a... I'll give it a five and a half, like a 5.5 5, out of 5, yeah, 5. 5 out of 10. It's, it's still a C, C grade. Uh, all right, those are our grades. Now let's get into the spoilers of this film. Mm. So, movie starts off, actually, movie starts off pretty good, where you got the video game cutscene of Linda yeah. Hamilton <laughs> uh, in Guatemala, Mexico, her and her son, which, see, that was the thing I was disappointed with, with how they do, they, they, can't, they do John uh, Connor dirt, dirty. They basically say, because, okay, so this movie <laughs> wants you to remember Terminator 1, Terminator 2, and they want this Dark Fate to be the new Terminator 3. And a young Linda Hamilton. In a, yeah, 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 <laughs> with the younger. So basically, the, you, the whole buildup is of Terminators. John Connor is going to be the hero in the future. This movie, at the beginning, is like, nope, fuck that. John, all the stuff you think is a different <laughs> timeline. So John Connor is killed within the first two minutes of the movie. Just straight up killed by uh, Duke Nukem. He shows up. And he shoots uh, John Connor. And then when I say Duke Nukem, I mean like a video game version of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. It was young Arnold Schwarzenegger. He looked like Duke Nukem. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he just blows the shit out of, of uh, John Connor yeah. and just walks off. We right? were watching that shit like, damn, technology. Is yeah, I was, I was like, off. I was like, like damn, it looked, it looked pretty good until Terminator showed up. Then I was like, okay, that's a complete CG. Because the kid looked like John Connor. I don't mm. know. That was really good. Yeah. Because they were talking about how the original John Connor, the actor, was going to be in the movie. I hope they didn't get that grown ass man and, and turned him into a little kid, but yeah, it was weird. But it was kind of cool. So basically, John Connor is killed at the beginning of the movie, which I was like, well, what the fuck are we doing? He died quicker than Thanos and all. Yeah, it was and yeah, it was quicker than Endgame. Thanos and Endgame. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, it was essentially like that. <laughs> Only thing, instead of having like 15 minutes to lead up to it, he got two, so. and then he was well, like a minute, and then he was dead. <laughs> so we're in Mexico. You got the lady, Danny. And she's living her life, and then Terminators are popping up, which I knew something was weird, cause, cause it bugged me when the when the lady came, she dropped out of the sky, like they couldn't even pet her on the bridge, they pet the bitch like in between the bridge. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what is that? Was yeah, weird. that was weird. That was uh, but then you realize weird. like the future's different, so the timeline is different. So if you like Terminator, this movie is kind of like here's Terminator, but here's also not Terminator mm -hmm. at the same time, which is kind of weird. That they would do it like that, but I'm gonna let you talk. I've been talking. Yeah, the thing, the thing that um, got me when it came to the Nat Terminator being introduced is, mm -hmm. you know, it was like, so she kills the policeman. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, but then it turns out, no, I'm the good one here to yeah, protect yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she beat the hell out of those police. You talk, yeah, when they, yeah, when she yeah. first appeared, yeah, she did fuck them up. Uh, the character Grace, who is half human, half Terminator. And, you know, with the realistic approach of like, you know, mar you know, minorities helping a lady, and, and yeah, it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, what yeah. did y'all do? So that that was realistic. Yeah, that like, was you know. There is like, there's some political commentary. <laughs> you don't really have to search hard for it because there are certain moments. One moment in particular, which I thought was funny, <laughs> when it was in the uh, in the look, uh, in the camp, the border oh, camp, which I thought was funny. But uh, so. Basically, another Mexican Terminator shows up. They try to track her down, and he's like liquid metal, but he also has the exoskeleton, mm -hmm. which was cool. Yeah, that I, shit I was really cool. Especially how they used uh, he, he would split apart, and he would like make spikes. So like that moment where he made a third elbow and yeah. elbowed Arnold, which was pretty cool. Um, and they established that the Terminators are real tough in this universe. You can't really kill them. You just got to keep running away from them, which is the theme of this movie until. The main <laughs> character, Danny, is like, no, we're going to stand here and fight. Hero mode. Hero mode, right. Cause, and they established that she she was on top of her shit. Because she had, you know, she's at work and her brother sucks yeah. at his job or whatever. 
Well, sh- I thought he was gonna last a lot longer in this movie. Yeah, I wasn't expect. I wasn't expect. That motherfucker was gone, like. Quick. <laughs> quick and then in a hurry. Yeah, they got his ass up out of there, which I was like, oh, the wow. whole family actually. Yeah, the dad got murked. Then the brother after the car chase, which was cool. That whole action sequence of them on the bridge was yeah. dope. Yeah, not not better than two, but it was really good. Yeah. Especially them like backing up on the entrance ramp and then they're on the opposite sides of the highway well, and crossing well, over. The thing with the, the new Terminator that, that I like mm-hmm. is that he meant business. Yeah, he was he straight didn't, forward. He didn't give a shit who he had to kill. He's, he you gives are, if the you guy are innocent, too a run for yeah, his money. Yeah, if you're an innocent bystander, that's your ass. I remember yeah. when they were on the highway, remember the car they got yeah. pinned into the... Man, I feel sorry. I like for the that. bit where he came back and he the guy because the guy thought he had <laughs> ran him over and then he like got into the car and just ran that guy over. That shit was funny. He uh, was dri- he was driving that truck crane thing like yeah. like like it was a car. Yeah, he didn't he give was, a care he, who he was running whoever into. Whoever was in the way, he had that's your ass, you're dead. It was a mission. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. So that, like I said in the spoiler, the thing with Grace, I like who's the half human Terminator. I like that they gave her a weakness where the the tech in her body would overpower her body and she would like burn out because the, 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 they, they would call her enhanced. And the point isn't to stay like that. You have to, you can only use your energy in quick bursts, which I thought was interesting. And then she had to get that MacGuffin uh, Sound like Wolverine without, you know, without the, yeah. without the claws. Basically, and yeah, Logan, it's, ba- and yeah, it's like, basically, yeah. imagine if Wolverine had metal bones, but he didn't have a healing factor. So it's like, it's kind of hard to yeah. keep moving, you know, you burn I'm yourself with out. you on that, yeah. you know, about giving her a weakness. Yeah, yeah. I just, I got mixed reviews about, like, you know, it being to the point where she, you know, was shutting down and she need all these mm-hmm. damn drugs and yeah, he had to yeah. administer them and like that's the part that had me like hold up now after this whole big accident I saved this for you after I fell 80 stories out of yeah. the sky yeah my ass whooped some Got heavy shit landed yeah some, some shit heavy landed. shit landed I've been on me underwater but here's this thing you conveniently Kept need right you. now I saved it here's your gun that you your signature weapon here you go <laughs> it's, it's a little c- c- convoluted shit like that that kind of bugged me with this movie. So they meet Linda Hamilton and then they rob her. Then she tracks them down and then they team up. They, you know, bitch and moan because they can't trust each other. And she explains that John was dead. Was as, Since John's died, she stayed in Mexico and then she started getting these text messages that would tweet her, I mean, that would text her uh, coordinates. She would show up, time bubble would happen, Terminator appears, and she would quickly kill it. And the text messages said for John. She doesn't know who this person is texting her, but if you've seen the trailer, you can kind of guess who it is. Yeah, that that con- I, I do like that concept. That concept was Especially cool. Especially when um Grace found out. I'm like, wait a minute, what what are these coordinates? Yeah, because she had a tattoo on her stomach when she hacked the phone to, to realize that the location and the place she had to go was the same place. So it's in Texas. So they got to cross the border because they're in Mexico. And they have to cross the border. Speaking of that, how do you feel about that that whole scene where, like, you know, all you know, everybody's on top of the damn train? Yeah, that was kind of funny. I kind of thought that was. Cause it, I didn't it, it realize was. that was a real thing, but it's, it was. It, you see the news people on a certain news station was bitching about a train that's heading toward the border. Well, this movie is like, there's a train heading toward the mm-hmm. border. Woo! And uh, I just thought that was kind of funny. It was. And, but like I said, if you if you pro, anti, whatever, it's, this movie might piss you off. Like, cause certain movies is like, when people complain about that, like, you're reading too much into it. But yeah. this movie is very much just, like, straightforward. Like, fuck yeah. it. It does not care. Because um, <laughs> there's a moment when they're, they're fighting where uh, the robot is coming and he's killing all the uh, Border Patrol guys. Really? Which was crazy. Like, they was, like, jumping on him. And he's, like, spikes and stabbing yeah, everybody. So eventually they get captured because he hacks the drone and he calls the border patrol on them. So they get locked up in in the in the, uh, the detainment. They, they what are they detainees? That was funny because that when Grace was uh, she had passed out again because she got you know she needed her fix. Uh, she was getting checked out and she wakes up, takes out the guards, and then she runs up to that lady <laughs> and she's like, where are the prisoners? And she's like, oh, they're not prisoners, they're detainees. And then she's like, bitch, and just knocks her out. I yeah, thought that was funny. That was, was like, that was that funny. Was. I thought that was actually funny. And I also kind of like how Grace, I mean, there, there is like, there, there's a big feminist 
drive through this, but I do admire that Grace was beating up men and women. She yeah. did not care. She was just all about Danny. But that might bug some people. I was fine Even with, with his it. Brother. Yeah, I was. And no, we gotta leave him. Like right, that. yeah, because I mean, if you want to look into it, it's like yes, a lot of men do die in this movie, but women do die too, yeah. except for your three main. Well, I guess you, two of your of your three main female characters, and. I was fine with that until the reveal, which I knew was coming, where it's like, because Sarah Connor is like, oh, you're not important, it's your womb that's important. They mm -hmm. want the boy that's inside, they want the man inside of yeah. you, that's all society cares about. I think, I think that's what made like, that common. I'm like, I was kind of like, eh, yeah. but then there's the bit when they're on the plane and she's like, no, you're the chosen one. It's not some man that needs to save the universe. It's you. I was sitting there. Oh, like, here well, we go. yeah, we both made. We here both looked at each other like, okay, that was. It was too heavy handed. Yeah, it was, it was like. like eh, it was. It was really unnecessary. Now, how, how did you feel about like? And also, this when was she written by four men, so I don't yeah, know why they like, were trying so hard. That was, how do you? How do you feel about like when she revealed that tour? And then she was like, well, hey, you you were the one who saved me. How did you feel about that? I whole... thought that was a little convoluted, too. Yeah, because <laughs> Grace is in the future. She grow, She was a little girl, and she was about to get robbed by some humans because everybody's fighting for food. And then conveniently, the person she was sent back in time to save uh, was uh, Danny in the future, which I thought was unnecessary, but I guess it's like a parallel to which how... Lo which she looked exactly the same, minus the clothing. Yeah, she just like, had braids. Yeah, it was like... Okay. But like, she didn't age in the future? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. She's like still the same. Yeah, you're right. She like, didn't age that, but she didn't have a cool battle scar. Or nothing. Yeah, like... Because John Connor, I remember when they show him in Terminator 1, he had a cool-ass scar on his mm -hmm. face. But, yeah, I thought that was a bit convoluted, but it's kind of like Kyle Reese going back in time to save John Connor, although he's his dad. It was sort of a... Like, oh, because he was like... She was like her mother, uh -huh. in a way, because she helped... Because she was like, you saved me, and you raised me. And you're badass, and then she's like, "Yeah, I am badass." Pep talk, yeah, like the little pep talk. Yeah. The fan. Speaking of that, how do you feel about uh, the the timeline? Yo, would, would it almost been 2020? How do you feel about was that? You know, oh yeah, that's right. Like, yeah, uh, right. I don't yeah, think yeah. all this shit gonna be going down in the next. Uh, yeah, okay. So that's the thing. <laughs> so they changed everything. So when they killed John, the timeline changes. So it's sort of which isn't game. a bad plot. It's not bad. But it kind of shits on the Terminator franchise because if you're trying to keep Terminator, because that was the whole thing. It's like Cyberdyne doesn't matter, Skynet, which I was surprised. Yeah, they Skynet just, is done. Yeah, they like, just did. did they're like Skynet them. is nothing. It's Legion now, like, and I'm what like, what the hell is Skynet? That's how Grace was looking. Yeah, she's like, the fuck is Skynet? Like, that Skynet <laughs> shit don't exist. In my time, it's <laughs> Legion, and 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 then she and then Linda Hamilton's kind of like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like, wait, why would you do that? It was weird. But how do you feel about the um? It was weird. War of the world looking. I like the new that were. I like the new designs of those. Yeah, when they showed them in the future, that shit was cool. Hey, that part was sweet when like they did the flashback when Grace was in the military mm -hmm. and they shot them shits down and. Yeah, 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 and then they blew them up and then. And they she started got morphing hit. into Terminator. Like, yeah. oh, well, hold that up. was cool. Like I said, that's a lot of cool stuff in this. It's kind of weird how they're trying to change the, the franchise, but they're also adding a lot of cool shit mm -hmm. to it. So. I don't know, you know, I'm kind of conflicted, but I like the designs and the whole, you know, it's like, hey, I want to sign up, and she gets the augmentations, and, okay, so we're talking around it, let's get to it, the movie, like we said, the movie was doing good, then there's a point Steady where, pace. like, in the middle, and I'm like, I'm, I'm enjoying this, like, because I know some people were down yeah. on this, and I'm like, well, when does this movie fucks up, so, <laughs> they get to Texas, where they meet the person who's been texting uh, Linda Hamilton, of course, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, the T-800. Obviously. Obviously. But, <laughs> okay, so he's not the good version of the Terminator. Like, in the, Okay, so in Terminator 2, they send back Arnold Schwarzenegger, but he's a reprogrammed good guy version. In this, he's the exact mm. same Terminator from the mm. beginning of the movie that murdered John Connor. So in the 30 years of him murdering John Connor, he had no, he said, like, as he says, he had no other programming, so his mission was done, and he's basically just a robot roaming. I kind of find that weird, but go ahead. Weird. So in the 30 years, this man 
is named Carl. No, no, this robot is named Carl. <laughs> he works on drapes. He owns a drape company. Yes, yeah, started his own business. Started his own drape co company for some reason. This is a Terminator who's programmed to kill. <laughs> he starts selling drapes. Runs into a Mexican woman who was being abused by her husband, and he gets into a relate. He marries this woman mm -hmm. and gets into a relationship <laughs> and raises their son. The fucking Terminator, mm -hmm. who is programmed to kill and destroy. Once his programming is done, he said, well, I had time to, to uh, learn. Develop a conscious. Yeah, I, I developed a conscious just by hanging around humans. I'm like, wait, what? that was in your programming? Apparently. Skynet's Richard Gere. So yeah, he's... yeah, right? And, and apparently I was around humans so much, and I raised the kid that I realized when I murdered your kid, that was a shitty thing. So I'm going to keep texting you coordinates to stop other Terminators, because the whole him helping her stop Terminators was cool. It's just the motivation behind yeah. it was weird, and it kind of threw the movie yeah, off. Yeah, but yet, that didn't stop you from killing John Connor. Well, he was still on the program, and once the program was done, he, then he became, was able he's to just, develop the, he's just okay. the best guy ever. He tells jokes. Perfect husband. Perfect husband. Family Yeah, man. that was other things. I'm like, but the wife didn't question it, and he's like, Not look, my wife liked me because I was funny, I change diapers without well, crying. Complaints. Yeah, uh, I'm a fucking all. You know, You're I'm an awesome a, listener. I'm a man. I'm a, I, I listen. Yeah, I'm a great conversationist. I'm well. I'm well spoken. I know. Not, I was like, all right, all right. So basically, she had a simp that she wasn't <laughs> yeah. fucking, and she was basically like I said. I was joking. She was fucking the mailman apparently because clearly, if you looked at the sign, there's no way in the hell. There's no way she didn't know because I'm like, does he have genitals? Did she try to bang this man? Like, this this brings up a lot of conversations. Mm -hmm. I want to see his daily... I just want to see a random day before this day happened, of yeah. the day of his life. Because he was clearly retired, I guess, at this point. I guess. I don't know. He still had to... It was weird. Yeah. And then also, then they have the thing where he has the bunker with all the weapons, and it's like, well, why the fuck you have all these weapons? Which, he did give a good explanation, where he's like, well, through through statistics I can tell that society's gonna fall at some point so I wanna be prepared and also I live in Texas. I'm like, I'll give you that. Yeah. I'll give, I'll give you, you that. That gets a pass. That gets a pass. But it's I have raised the family. And then I felt sorry for murdering your son thirty years ago. So now I'm here that was weird. It kinda threw the movie That's off a the, little bit. Terminator way it was his way of apologizing. Yeah, it was his way of apologizing. Guess the the conscious and the development of personal skills that didn't come with an apology. I, yeah. So this was his way of saying of doing sorry. It. But the yeah. thing that got me is like his family, like you said, his family didn't question shit. They ain't question shit. Whatever he said, they was cool they, with okay, it. I'm going along with it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hug you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to ask you no questions why we got to move. You're right. You tell us to leave, we leave We're leaving, we out. No questions bye asked. Bye-bye. We done. Like, remember the part when they was outside and you know, the wife and came and, um, mm -hmm. you know, gave everybody some Coronas and then the son... Yeah, that was... The yeah, son, the, the the son hung by. The was weird. Yeah. And he was like, hey, why don't you go in there and help your mom? It was no back talk. Okay, dad. Right. <laughs> the yeah, house. they did that. Yeah, it was... He had a nice life. I'll give him that. And, I, and obviously, you know, um... Linda is complex by this. Yo, yeah, she was, as soon as she opened the door and saw him, she was ready to blow his fucking head off. And Grace didn't quite understand, you know, she didn't get what was going on. Yep. But when they explained it, it's like, oh, you know, she's, she's, you know, she's conflicted about this whole situation, which is understandable. And then, you know, she doesn't like him, but he's trying to get her to be okay with him. And then, so what happened after that? They get on the, oh, yeah, they need an MP. They get it from some military guy. I don't know if he was in the movies. <laughs> I'm assuming he was, but I'm not familiar with that character. And then they get attacked by the, the evil Terminator, which then they go to the airport. They end up on the plane. There's this whole drawn-out sequence of this big cargo plane. Well, first it's him in the helicopter trying to get onto the plane. Then they get him out of the plane, and then he gets back. He, he hijacked the, the fuel plane mm -hmm. and crashes it into their plane. And he, uh, no, crashes to the other planes that was... Yeah. Uh, protecting them hops in then that's this whole big action sequence which was pretty cool yeah it was. but it went on way too damn long <laughs> and like i said it was at night so it was kind of hard to see and then it got weirder because they got in the hummer and then that crashes into the water yeah. and then that's a whole sequence and it's hard to it's really hard to you see when they're on the they water. were mermaids the way yeah they were the water, man. yeah they, they, really because they, 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 the plane crashes into a dam and which once that sequence was done, I'm like, is this movie about to be over? Because that was too damn much. Yeah, they. 
Thankfully, it was. <laughs> but it was still crazy. And you, they get separated. And then once again, Grace is, is failing. You She's know. going through withdrawal. And that's when the... At the most inopportune time. Right, because she can't yeah. open the door. Then conveniently... Because this was probably about another 10, maybe 7 or so minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Schwarzenegger comes back. He's missing his arm. And he's bruised But you up. think he's dead because the the evil Terminator takes some shit off his arm. Yeah, rip, rips his arm off. And then he seems like he got crushed by the wreckage. The debris, and the, yeah. By the debris under the, under the water in the river. And then the other Terminator survived. But he survived too. Conveniently, he shows up with his with her gun, uh, Linda Hamilton's special gun, and <laughs> uh, uh, a uh, injection the serum. Uh, the serum. <laughs> he conveniently, like after surviving explosions, uh, crashes, fucked up underwater, fucked up underwater, fighting underwater, underwater, crashing in the burned. Shit. He he had that one vial intact. Intact. Yeah, there was no stains on it. Or nothing. It was, yeah, it was. A, I don't know. even think it was wet to be honest. It, with it, you. it didn't it came look, out of the water. It, like, it, it looked pretty dry. There I figured, you go. Figured you might need this. <laughs> fucking movie <laughs> so they get into the fight at the they're still at the dam and they all you know get together uh, Grace got the chain with the hook and she's fighting them and they teed off on them I, I will say the, the scene you, you, you're about to explain they, yeah they that, that was like the first time they kind of dazed them for a minute yeah they, they was holding their own for a good while and like uh, Schwarzenegger had a club and then that fell apart and then he got he got knocked out again. He was like mm-hmm. shut down. Oh wait, no, no, that was when was yeah, that was later when they uh they finally grab him and throw him into the generator, and it explodes, and they think it's dead, but it's not. And you think Schwarzenegger's dead, but he well he's on the ground. Linda's uh fucked st- up. She's fucked she up. She got thrown. Yeah, and then Grace is messed up too. She got stabbed, and she tells Danny to pull her uh, power battery or whatever that's keeping her functioning mm, excuse me tells mm-hmm. her to take that out and use it to kill the evil terminator which she has to cut her stomach open and pull it out and that's like all of them because of, you know at this point the main character and the terminator that's protecting them develops an emotional bond so that part was yeah. the same so she's conflicted yeah you know yeah. it must be some you know other way and isn't that mm. when when arnold kind of swoops back up well she, time she uh, the, the the exoskeleton kind of like the first movie is crawling towards the girl and she fights it a little bit she's like shooting it but then she's hitting it with the shotgun and it overpowers her linda hamilton's like hey oh yeah she because she refuses to call him carl but of course at this <laughs> pivotal moment Hey, Carl, save her. And then he powers up and starts holding them back. John Cena, baby. Yeah, yeah. Ray, it was, yeah, it should have been some. Did, 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 did. Like, Pinkies he, up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he pulls him back, and then she uh, stabs him with the little battery thing, and then he takes forever to die because it's, like, electric, and he's, like, shaking, and then the two Terminators go over the ledge, and then I think there's another explosion. Yeah, like a, um, they they go over the ledge, and what it is is um, when when it's in him, yeah, Schwarzenegger takes him and he hangs over the side with him. Then he looks back at yeah, Linda, and, and yeah, he, yeah. you know, and at that point, you know, he's gonna jump down there mm-hmm. with him. Yeah, that's and right. And they fall down, and Schwarzenegger is Holds like him. elbowing him and yeah, holding and him down, and then they yeah, then I think there's another explosion. Yeah, and that yeah, is fine, yeah, yeah, Grace is dead. So then it ends with. Uh, Danny looking at a young Grace with her parents, which I thought was kind of weird. A little stalkerish. Yeah. And you see her with her parents, but she's still a little girl. And then her and Linda Hamilton drive off in the Jeep and she to said, the sequel. Yeah, and she says, I won't, I won't um, let her die for me the next time. Yeah, yeah. Which also confirms that it's going to be a sequel. Yeah, I hope the next movie is them in the future, because I have to say, that future shit looked, it looked cool. Yeah. Yeah, that, I was into that. Yeah, that was that was sweet. That, that was shit sweet. was really cool. One of the things that I will say is that, and all of them, they say that the the current evil Terminator is the best one. They've mm-hmm. been saying that the whole franchise. Mm-hmm. But I think with this one, he's good. He, he gives good. T1, uh, he's, the T one thousand run for his money. He really does. Straight to the point. He really he does. He don't care about killing and fucking up other people. No, he's yeah. He is. I'm gonna kill shit. And if you're in the, in the way, way you got to I'm go. gonna kill you too. I don't care if I'm flying a big ass aircraft, driving the um, 
a, a, a steam, not a steam roller, bulldozer. A bulldozer. A I'm helicopter. using that. I'm hacking some I'm drones. I'm fucking everybody up that's in the way to get to my target. <laughs> so if you're in the way, you you're dead. You I, I agree go. with you. I think one of his best scenes was um in the, in the, the, the detention. In the detention. Uh, man, detention man yeah. he was fucking he was, them people up, man. He was you know what? everybody up. And it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. Yes, it was. And I like how he just casually walks up. He's like, hey, uh, talking to the cops. He's like, you guys know where I can get a, a <laughs> chopper? I was like, you motherfucker. So, yep, yeah, that's our non-spoiler talk review of this movie. It's fine. I think it's the best since 2. I would give it the best I, since I'll 2. I'll say that. I can, I can say that also. And that's after only seeing one of the ones after 2. But it was good. I, I enjoyed it. But it does... Uh, take a turn with how it's going to handle if they make a sequel i don't know what the hell they're going to do because i mean do you bring schwarzenegger back again oh, no God. see my, my my thing was this and i think they should have been a, um like a changing of the gods i think well that's what they did you know but i thought him know, i thought they were gonna kill off. yeah i thought we they did. was gonna kill off yeah i thought linda was dying like too. the main three yeah like, they I killed linda john was dying like too. early mm -hmm. i thought like Linda was going to die. I mean, let's be honest. We we knew Schwarzenegger yeah. was going to die, but oh, the yeah. question is, is he really dead? Yeah. You know, well, that's the question. Time loop or some shit. You, you know, know, but I, know. I think they should have killed them, both of them off. Yeah. And but, then yeah, it's cause I kind got, of started, with whatever the sequel is, you start I would with do Grace, a sequel with Grace and, and Danny. Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you I'm know, about to you say. You got, you got the um, core out of the way. Mm -hmm. Kind of like you know, kind of like what what, what Marvel did with the the first wave of Avengers. Yeah. Oh, well, I was kind of. It's a little better than what they did with say Last Jedi, where it was really crazy how they yeah. didn't handle the transitioning of the old god to the new yeah. god. I think this was a little better handled. I, I will. I agree you with know? that. But yeah, I'll leave it at that. So yeah, that's the uh, spoiler review. Terminator Dark Fate. Thanks for watching, yep. and uh, thanks for joining me, oh, my no man. No problem, no problem. And uh, stay tuned for more videos on this channel. Yep. Subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Peace. Finish this thought. I am a slave, you. The booty.